What is going on everyone? It is Foulplay here and we are back again for another Bant Burgle League. Um, still really enjoying Bant at the moment, so we're going to continue kicking along with it. Um, so changes to the deck, I have actually removed my three path to exile from the main deck and from the list altogether. Not really seeing that many matchups where I want Path to Exile, um, realistically. Uh, bringing in two Rancors and the third Arcane Flight. Um, I'm not sure how much I love Rancor at the moment. I think it's good, but maybe not great. Um, an Arcane Flight's blue, pitches to force. Um, I guess gives Flying Stat, which could be an important uh, stat in jump blocking. Um, yep, yeah, so... Other than that, no changes to the main deck. I have actually changed up the sideboard a little bit as well. Well, semi-majorly. I removed Leyline of Sanctity because, I mean, realistically, we weren't really using it that often. We've got Force and Negation to protect our hand in uh, attrition-based matchups with Thoughtseize anyway. Um, unfortunately, you know, that's card disadvantage, but we've got oodles of card advantage in the deck, so hopefully it doesn't impact on us too hard there. Uh, so still got the three surgical extractions in the sideboard for Uro type decks. Uh, I've ended up putting in the Stubborn Denials in as extra counter magic against combo decks. We've got the two Pithing Needle and two Suppression Field to interact with, uh, I guess, combo based decks. Um, the combo of active abilities. Tails End in there for Blast Zone Hate. Torpor Orb in there for Skyclave Evaporation Hate. Um, Brazen Borrow is a one-of, and Teferi is a one-of, both in Snaring Bridge hate, um, Chalice of Void hate, same as Force of Vigor, but, uh, Brazen Borrow and Teferi, that bit more, uh, bit more flexible, right? Alright, so without further ado, we're gonna get ahead, go ahead and get into our first modern match here. Um, alright, so we're versing Legend, we lost the Dyro, we have a no creature hand, we're definitely mulliganing. Opponent is on the play and keeping a seven. All right, down to five now. All right, and this is certainly a keep. Fortunately, we don't have any card advantage or is in hand. I think I'm just going to be inclined to ditch the uh, totem armors here, keep a flying four powered bogle, and hope that that's good enough to get us there. Oh, inspiring vantage. Is this a burn deck? All right, we'll get our Bogle down. We drew a high number for turn. Uh, not the life game we're looking for, but you know, maybe we'll get something happening. Hmm. No, no bolt or anything. Is this a chalice on one? No. Okay. So so far, our opponent's done nothing. We draw a curious obsession. Um. I think if they're a burn deck, they would have lightning bolted us at the end of their turn. So we're probably pretty safe here to fetch shock for the curious obsession. Uh, play around Mana Tithe there, I suppose. I might play around Mana Tithe again with this Hyena Umbra and also play around Anger of the Gods as well. It could be some sort of funky Red Prison deck. I'm not sure yet. Alright, so we draw Staggering Insight. We're going to have Life Gain soon, which is good. And more card draw also. Season Pyromancer. Oh, well, this uh, Arcane Flight's looking pretty spicy. So, a red-white mid-range sort of deck. Interesting. Discarding Lightning Bolt and a Mountain. Find the Force Negation. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure we can just raise them in, like, two attacks with uh, the Ethereal Armor and the... Uh, Arcane Flight here, so we're going to go ahead and attack in, put our opponent all the way down to 9, uh, and draw a card. So that's going to be enough to kill them, we can counter a spell if need be with this Force of Negation. Flagstones of Trothar. Trocair. So Cleansing Wildfire here, I'm not like that scared of, because... Like, I'd be scared of the second one, because it could potentially stop me from winning. Um, they're going for four mana. Wrath of God. Uh, sure, because we just... Uh, I might actually counter that one. It's going to take me an extra turn to kill them if I don't. Um, I, I get I've got totem armor and my creature lives, but I'm not guaranteed to draw land and, like, drop double aura there. Um, alright, well, we'll just daybreak for the win. 
smack on in there. Cool. All right, well, that was a bit dicey as to what we were versing, but I suppose we worked it out in the end there. Uh, Stop and Denial could potentially be good here. What do I think of potential other sideboard options? There's a chance they actually have a Stoneforge Mystic package as well. Um, I think maybe there's a chance that they have like a, a Khan the Great Creator package is probably a little bit higher than them having Stoneforge Mystic. Maybe it's about the same. Um, hmm. What are cards that I don't really like against them? I th think most of my... High number is good. Um, most of my evasion seems reasonable. Maybe aqueous form being the weakest version of that. Maybe trim one invisible stalker. I don't want to trim any more creatures than that. Um, I guess being on the draw holding up mana might be slightly awkward. So it's probably ever so slightly safer. Maybe we can bring in one stubborn denial and choose between either Teferi or Brazenborough. Um, I think Brazenborough with... Oh, maybe not. Oh, uh, let's go Teferi. Brazenborough is, like, vulnerable to Lightning Bolt, or at least the creature half is. Um, okay, no lander here. I don't know, maybe Brazenborough is better. Uh, well, we got a hand we can keep here. Probably just bottom the Stubborn Denial. Hope to draw Blue Mana on top. Opponent has Mulligan to 6 here. Yeah, let's ditch the Stubby D. We want to be spending our mana in our early turns anyway, not holding up interaction for our opponents. Alright, so we will lead on the Glade Cover Scout here. Slippery Bogle can be pitched to a Force Negation. Uh, so Scout's the better creature for us to play. Uh, opponent Legend rules themselves with his second flagstones then. Uh, not taking advantage of the mana even slightly. Let's, uh, we draw a Rancor, so we missed our land drop here. Uh, we'll assemble Totem Armor and just attack him for two. There's potential for our opponent to be holding up Wear Tear here. Um, and obviously I want to play around the on-curve Anger of the Gods. Uh, looks like he's going for a boom. Sure. Alright, so this is more like M. Hayishi's, like, just land wrecking deck. Okay. Okay, and we don't get anything for that. Well, we draw the Raids of Urge Thicket. Uh, let's go ahead and jam down our Trample here. That seems like it's going to be pretty important. Good clock on Trample. And if they go after more of our lands, then uh, at least we're going to have two keywords, a First Strike and Trample. Pillage, yep. Uh, all in, me in the meanwhile, we're just like beating them in the face. So, I mean, it sort of sucks, but they haven't got any pressure on the board whatsoever. Wrath of God. All right, well, Totem Armor, OP. Mana Confluence. All right, we'll go ahead and play our Mana Confluence out. Here it's like as fast of a clock if we play our second Rancor as to if we play our Ethereal Armor. And we're equally as weak to Anger of the Gods either way. Maybe they're on something like Pyroclasm. I think that's probably unlikely. I might just... um. Might just play out the Rancor here. Attack for five, two turn clock, force the issue. If they reset the board, I get my Rancors back. I can play the Bogle out of hand. It's better than losing Ethereal Armor, in my opinion. We probably have the win either way. Another Wrath of God? Nahiri. Okay, well, Nahiri is potentially absolutely scary as all heck. Wow, that's all you got? Okay, well, if my opponent doesn't have wear to, we kill them. Okay, well, we get in there, we get the win. Um, I wasn't expecting the Nihiri by the end of all of that, but I'm glad I didn't get Emrakuld. Um, overall, sideboarding-wise, what do I think? Is there anything that I could have changed? Would have made it slightly better. I reckon... 
with the knowledge of them being a land destruction deck with the boom bust, the pillage, um, there's another one in there as well that I'm forgetting. We probably want the extra stubborn denial as well. Um, with them having Emrakuls, uh, I st I'm not sure that like force is very good here. Um, unfortunately, what's the wording on this? Search your library for an artifact or creature card, put it onto the battlefield. Okay, so it never enters from the graveyard or anything. So surgical is pretty pointless unless they discard an Emrakul with with the Nahiri. That's all like if they already have it in hand or draw it on the critical turn. Discard it and then you can surgical all the way. So that's like pretty niche and crappy. Um, yeah, I think maybe just like counter magic. So stubborn denial um, over over the Teferi. Seems fine. Teferi is not really doing anything there. And maybe actually bring in the Force of Vigor for Blood Moon, which they probably had. And I didn't really consider that. Oh, that's going to be it for today's match, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to. Uh, let me know what you think down below. If you're new, be sure to subscribe for daily Boogle content and ring that bell for more. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you next time. Cheers.